drawing inspirations from the role model of Lei Feng, but uh, we are not talking about the man himself. We are talking about the spirit mm -hmm. behind and the spirit that he represents very well. But uh, is it relevant to talk about Lei Feng today? Well, I think the answer should be yes and no. Yes, I think uh, in an age of commercialization as well as globalization, and particularly this, global, uh, this kind of commercial society right now, China is kind of transforming itself into, uh, that spirit seems to be quite outdated because, for example, loyalty, obedience seems to be kind of irrelevant to the present Chinese society in, in an age of cutthroat competition. But no, because I think they still speak for and speak for this broad masses that aspire for that very kind of a patriotism, uh, altruism, and also the kind of humble service to the community. But what does the Chinese red represent? Yeah. I think the first question maybe we need to make clear is what exactly is Lei Feng spirit in the first place? Mm -hmm. I actually did a survey uh, in a group of college students. Well, most of them, they interpreted the Lei Feng spirit as helping the others without considering uh, oneself, selfless devotion. Less of this element um, is being interpreted by young people today as obedience or patriotism, but more about helping the others and help the others with a happy mood. Well, Edward, I'm afraid your presence here might be viewed as a surprise for those overseas viewers because uh, they don't expect uh, foreigners to understand what Lei Feng spirit is all about. You know, I, Yang Ray, I think, I think it's not so much a surprise. I mean, the, the, the Lei Feng spirit is, is actually taught at West Point, which is the United States Military Academy. So there, there is a recognition, at least in the military, of, about Lei Feng and his spirit. Um, but I also think at the same time that we have in, in Western values the spirit of Lei Feng and the idea of Lei Feng and helping other people, which is quite to the core of the Judeo-Christian understanding of, of, of thought processes to help other people. So I think that it's, it's, a, it's an idea certainly with foreigners who come here and, uh, and take a look. Many of them can recognize Lei Feng's uh, characteristics and features, uh, but, but I also think it's a spirit that exists uh, throughout the world. But uh, a lot of questions are being raised as to whether we are blowing it out of proportion since we live under uh, an entirely different circumstance. Uh, we are motivated by material comforts instead of uh, uh, you know, the inspiration of uh, helping others. Uh, what do you think of uh, the relevance of having Lei Feng as a role model for the younger generation? Yeah, you know, as, <clears throat> as a younger generation, it's hard to understand, I think, for them because they can't identify probably during the Cultural Revolution when many people were in the military or many more people were in the military or, or working with the military. Now, less and less, you have people that are in contact with the military. So I'm not sure that this is probably as relevant today for the young people today who are uh, netizens, who are on the Internet, who are, uh, who are going to school and probably don't have as many relatives that are, that are connected to the military.